Hey everybody, it's old Murray back with you from the MVM Images and the Talk Common Sense and the Long Star Diary podcast. Before we get started too, too hot and heavy, I'd just like to ask you to subscribe to this channel. It would be very much appreciated. It would just make me it would just make me happy as a New Year's Eve. Well, enough of that. We're going to get on with the subject at hand. And I want to talk about a little problem I had with my uh, with my Taurus Public Defender, which is on screen right now. And the problem that I had was not the public defender's fault. No, it was, it was my fault. As I used to say, it was the fault of the nut behind the wheel. But it wasn't anything major, but if it happened to you, and let's say you wasn't too familiar with with revolvers or, or handguns, well, I just don't want you to think that there was something terribly wrong because there wasn't. It was all my fault. So I'm going to attempt to show you kind of what happened. And I don't know if my mouse's pointer is showing up, but it all occurred right in here. Right in here. When you load 410 shells, which if you're not familiar with this with this gun, this revolver, it takes 410 ammunition and 45 long coat. And the 410 ammunition packs a real wallop. Now, I've had this revolver since April, and this is only the second time that I took it out and shot it. But the problem is when you load 410 and you fire them, like I said, they pack a wallop. I think they swell up a little bit. I think the brass must swell up a little bit. And what happened to me was I, it holds five and I, I fired four times and on the fifth one, it locked up tighter than a drum. I mean, it, it locked up, it locked up tight. Right in there, if you can, if the pointer's showing you, it's right behind the cylinder where the cylinder meets the, the housing for the hammer. And I'm going to attempt to show you, I've got, I've got the Taurus here with me, and I'm going to attempt to show you what happened. And I want you to understand that I'm an experienced person with a firearm, trained in the Army and trained with uh, NRA videos and what have you. But what when you when I show this to you on the screen, when I show it to you, you're gonna you might think that the the gun's pointed at me. Well it's not. And the gun will be empty. And I'm gonna show that to you right now. So I'll reach over here and get it. Here it is. The Taurus Judge. Polly, public defender. Got a two inch barrel. Possibly a little more than two inch. I'm looking at two monitors and I'm trying to get my bearing straight. But right here, right in here, where your, your shells are pointed this way and the rear of them are right here. And this was where the problem was, right here. Because one of those shells was evidently not pushed, not pushed in flush. That was my fault. Now let me see if I can show this to you. I'm pointing this at the camera. You can see the barrel is clear.
cylinders clear. Now I'm going to put a dummy round in. I'm going to have to rotate it around where you can see it. There it is right there. You can see the brass. So if you close this, and if it was sticking out too far, it might be in far enough for the cylinder to close, but not in far enough to keep it from restricting the rotation of the cylinder once it, once it swole up. So I'll pull this back out. Let you see it again. Empty, empty, empty. Now, <clears throat> what I did when I when I realized it was jammed, and I realized that there was a live round in it, then I quit shooting. I, well, I quit sh trying to shoot this because I knew there was a live round in it. So I immediately stopped. And... Uh, just I decided I'd just let it cool and I'd worry about it after I got home because I had my my little Smith and Wesson Smith and Wesson shield out there and and another semi that I, I needed to shoot them. So I shot them and then came home. So after I got home I was thinking, well, what do I need to do? So I thought for a while. And what I eventually come up with was this is your cylinder release. So if you push this, then your then your cylinder will drop out. So what I did. I push the release here. And then I hit on the back side with the heel of my hand toward the release side. It would have swung up that way into the gun. I took the heel of my hand, pushed the release button, took the heel of my hand, and gave it a sharp tap, and it came right out. Came right out. And that was the end of the problem. But believe me, when it happened, when it happened, I mean, I thought something bad was wrong. I mean, I thought, I thought something really bad was wrong because it, I mean, it was locked up tight. But that's all it was. That's all it was was this rear of a shell sticking out a minute, I mean, like I said, it didn't, it didn't keep it from closing. It didn't keep it from firing four. But when it got to that fifth one, that fifth one must have been out just a, just a hair. And that's all it took. That's all it took. So I hope this helps you if you ever have this problem. I, I hope you don't have it. But don't be afraid of, of this little revolver, this little Taurus Public Defender Polly. No, oh, Lordy, I tell you what, if you live if you live on a ranch or you're somewhere where there's snakes, load that booger up. I, I was shooting birdshot in it out there. And I mean it... Uh, Oh, I guess about seven, eight, ten yards. It just covered the entire. I had a, like a two by two target. There wasn't. A, there wasn't a. There wasn't an eighth of an inch on that target that didn't have a pellet in it. So this would be an awesome snake gun for you. So, I encourage you to buy it if you if you think that you would like that sort of thing. And I'll tell you what, when you've got it loaded with them 45 long colts, 
you've got a damn good self-defense weapon. And what I've got in it right now is ammunition that's made. It's made for self-defense. Uh, you probably can't see it. But this has got four discs that are equivalent to, I think, probably a 30, 36, or maybe even a 9 millimeter. I'd have to read up on it. But there's four of them in there. I don't know if you can see it. There's four of them in there. And then there's a bunch of a little BBs in there as well. They call it the perfect the perfect weapon against carjacking, and I can believe it. Because I promise you, they wouldn't want a face full of what's going to be coming out of that booger. Not at all. But I've had to redo this video about three times. First it was camera trouble, and then there was mic trouble, and then there was uh, the nut behind the wheel trouble, which... Uh, Nine times out of ten, that's the problem. I well, appreciate you watching this, and if you would, be sure and give us a, a, a thumbs up and subscribe and and share it with uh, people that you know may have this type of revolver, and if they ever run into this problem, maybe it'll help them out. And if it will, then then this problem will be solved. It's easily solved and it's nothing it's nothing major whatsoever. So thanks so much for watching friends. And I'll be seeing you on down the road. Goodbye everybody.